Hello, grade fives. Today we'll be looking at factorization. Before we start, there is a few terms that we need to look at. First one is factors. We have touched on it in class before, but now we're going to go into a bit more detail. A factor or factors are numbers that divide into a number with no remainder. For example, we say the factors of 12, please note we write a capital F, we usually write the 12 slightly smaller and in a colon. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. How do we check this? Can all of those numbers go divide into 12 without a remainder? The next one is a prime number. Prime numbers are numbers with only two factors, and this includes one and itself. It cannot divide into any other number equally with no remainder other than one and itself. An example there is the factor of 17. The next one are factor pairs. Factor pairs are a pair of numbers that when multiplied will be will give will result in a given product. Now we know that a product is the answer to a multiplication sum. So for an example, 12 is the product of 2 times 6. So therefore, 2 and 6 are factor pairs. And the last thing to remember are that tables are extremely important in this activity. You need to know your tables for you to be successful with factorization. So if you at this point right now don't know your tables, go and study them. You should be doing that daily anyway. Okay, so the first question is find all the factors of 36. We start off with writing capital F, 36 and colon. We then draw a lot, take our ruler and we draw a margin down the left side of our page to create a working outside. With your ruler, draw a vertical line, a horizontal, let's start off the horizontal line of about three centimeters, and then a vertical line of about five centimeters. You can always adjust this if you need more space at the end. We then place the factor above, and in this case, we've got factors of 36. Now, we need to find the factor pairs. It is always easy because we always start off with one and the number given. So in this case, it will be 1 and 36, always. Then we go on to 2. What times 2 will give us 36? It will be 2 times 18, factor pairs. 3, what times 3 will give us 36? It will be 12. And we can always double check it. Can 36 be divided into 12? Can 36 be divided into 3? And um, Then 4 times 9 will give us 36. And then 6 times 6 will give us 36. And we always, that's the end, we always scratch out or draw a line through the double numbers because we don't need duplicate numbers. And we work from right to left. Okay, those are your factor pairs. Now, basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all these numbers all the way around here. Remember, we've rubbed out or scratched out six because it's just duplicated, and we're going to put it into order over here. And the order is one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty-six. And those are all the factors of thirty-six. Going to look at another example. You've been asked to look for the factors of 20. So step one would be to write out F20 in your colon. Draw your line on the left side of your page, a margin. Use your ruler, draw your horizontal line about three centimeters, vertical line about five centimeters. You can change it if needs be, and put your factor number on the top. Now again, we always start off with 1 and the number given. So in this case, 1 and 20 are given. The next factor pairs, 2 times what gives us 20? 2 times 10. 
3 times what gives us 20? We can't do it. So we move on to the next one. 4 times what gives us 20? 5. And then can 5 times what give us 20? 4. And that's where it ends. But before we continue, we go and cross out the duplicates. We usually cross it out on the left-hand side because, remember, we work from right to left. Now we've got all our factor pairs of 20 there. So what we have to do next is write it out. And when we write it out, we go 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Remember, all the duplicates, we get rid of them. So no, you, you cannot use them twice. We can always double check. 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. And 5 times 4 or 4 times 5. Is 20. There we have all our factors of 20. Next we've been asked to, last example that we're going to do today, so pay attention if you haven't um, grasped the idea yet, is we're going to be asked to look for the factors of 16. Remember capital F, 16 slightly smaller but it's not the end of the world if you don't, and a colon. Take your ruler, draw your margin down the left side of the page, you can use about a ruler's length worth, and horizontal line, 3 centimeters about. And your vertical line, plus or minus 5 centimeters. You can always change this if needs be. And then we write the factor of 16 above because that's what we're looking for. Now, step one, always start off with 1 and the number given. So in this case, 1 and 16 are given. Is there a number that 16 can, can 16 divide into 2 without a remainder? Yes, 2 and 8. And 3 doesn't work, so 4 and 4. And that's where we stop. But before we continue, we have to cross out the duplicates, which is 4 in this case. And those are all our factor pairs. We work from right to left. And we now write them back out on the previous side. And the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And we can double check. 16 times 1 is 16, 2 times 8 is, uh, 2 times 8 is 16, and 4 times itself, as you can see here, 4 times itself is 16. But remember, we do not duplicate 4 over here at all. I hope you understand. If you don't, please watch it again, and all the best. We look forward to seeing you back at school very soon. And last thing, remember, Know your times tables. Study them daily.